KP classes dedicated to excellence welcome to kp classes my name is rupa raju in today's video we'll be discussing about fraud number in detail so fraud number this is actually a topic that comes under sedimentology or geomorphology which is important for for uh, all the competitive exams whether it is gate or net csr or upsc fraud number is an important topic fraud number is provided by the we use the letter f to define fraud number f is equal to flow velocity divided by root over acceleration due to gravity into depth so fraud number actually gives us an idea about inertial forces versus gravitational forces or it will give you an idea about the velocity of the channel and depth of channel or its relationship with each other according to the f fraud number value for a given channel if uh, fraud number is coming as more than 1 the channel flow condition will be called as supercritical flow in the same way if fraud number value is coming equal to 1 we call it as subcritical flow subcritical flow if f comes less than 1 we call it sorry if f is equal to 1 we call it as critical flow if f is less than 1 we call it as subcritical flow okay now <clears throat> when it comes to bed forms uh, different bed form ripples different types of dunes or anti dunes all these bed forms develop on the basis of three factors it completely depends upon velocity Uh, depth of the channel and the grain size of sediments present in the channel so it completely depends upon velocity depth and grain size of the sediments now when it when it comes to a bed form whether it is ripple mark or dunes uh, or simple plain bed or a <coughs> anti dune all different types of bed forms develop on the basis of these three factors now how can we relate fraud number with these bed forms when uh, the flow condition is super critical when f is uh, greater than 1 the situation the energy condition is called as upper flow regime condition upper flow regime condition when the energy condition or the fraud number uh, for a particular flow situation is less than 1 we call that as a low flow regime <coughs> low flow regime condition okay now so fraud number is simply uh, an equation f is equal to v uh, mean flow velocity divided by root over gd and this fraud number actually gives us an idea about uh, the velocity and the depth of the channel or its relationship uh, how how much is the velocity whether velocity is higher yeah it's whether it is a shallow water condition data is what provided by fraud number that it's also defined as the ratio of inertial forces versus Uh, gravit inertial forces to gravitational forces ratio is what is called as the fraud number now <coughs> if fraud number of a channel is greater than 1 we call it as a supercritical flow if it is equal to 1 we call it as a critical flow if it is less than 1 we call it as a subcritical flow now all the sedimentary bed forms for example ripples dunes plain bed anti dune all these sedimentary bed forms has a relationship with the fraud number we can define that the which are the bed forms that can develop when the flow condition is super critical or what will be the characteristics of the bed forms that develop during a super critical flow how how what is the relevance or how can we differentiate that now when it comes to a super critical flow condition uh, we call the energy situation as upper flow regime whereas the subcritical flow is called as low flow regime condition so when the flow is a uh, flow energy condition is low or it when f is equal to less than 1 when f is less than 1 or simply <coughs> when when will be the value of f less than 1 when the velocity is is low and 
deep channel where the channel is deep and the velocity is low f will be less than 1 or the flow condition will be subcritical flow when the flow condition is subcritical flow at low velocity condition when velocity is low means the energy condition of the system or the channel itself is low when energy is low it won't be able to transport uh, larger dimension particles larger diameter particles it will be only able to transfer transport uh, sand size particle all right or fine grain particle so what happens when f value is less than one migration of sand fine sand size particle takes place and only bed forms which are much more smaller in dimension such as ripple marks develop ripple marks develop so at the initial time uh, in a river channel with increase in the velocity of water with uh, the velocity situation is very low when the velocity of water increases at that particular time the first one to generate or the first wet forms to generate will be ripple mark now further if i am increasing the grade, increasing the velocity of the channel so f value is still less than 1 but i have increased a bit of the velocity at that stage much more coarser particle will be able to uh, transport it your migration will happen and will be causing formation of dunes all the next uh, ripple marks will be uh, later actually next is ripple you superimposed dunes will be generating then after that dunes will be forming then if i increase further if i increase the velocity f will be approximately equal to 1 when f will be approximately equal to 1 or the flow condition will be critical flow condition at critical flow condition all the dunes or ripple marks whichever developed in the flow system will be completely removed or distracted and causes formation of normal plane beds normal plane beds or plane laminations will be developed now further when i in, if i am going to increase the velocity or f fraud number value will be greater than one at this particular situation when fraud number is greater than one uh, the plane bits bits will be plane bits will be changed to form anti dunes <coughs> anti dunes and anti dunes are uh, another important factor about anti dune or in this situation where the velocity is very high supercritical flow condition velocity is very high uh, the sediments will start to migrate towards the upstream side here in ripple marks or dunes the sediments were transported towards the downstream side with flow in water but because of the high velocity condition in the shallow uh, channel anti dunes develop with a upstream migration and even the upstream migration causes formation of uh, cross beddings uh, which dip at a very low angle less than 10 degree very low angle almost horizontal dipping yeah very low uh, angle dipping uh, cross beds will be generated at anti dunes even again if i increase the velocity the flow situation will be provided with chutes and pools okay so these are the different bed forms which are associated which we can relate with the flow velocity and depth condition when the flow situation is stagnant initially there is nothing developed and later when the velocity increases slowly slowly at the initial stage at low velocity condition ripple marks develop so ripple migration takes place towards the downstream direction later on dunes with further increase in the velocity dunes develop and dunes also migrate towards the downstream direction later when i increase the velocity if fraud number equals to one at that particular condition there is no longer formation of dunes takes place and later complete removal of uh, structure bed forms and plane bed will be generated at f is equal to one or approximately equal to one situation later when fraud number is greater than one with further increase in the velocity anti dunes will be generated with upstream dipping cross beddings okay then with further increase in the velocity it will be chutes and pools now when it comes to these structures uh, look over here 
this is the ripple mark so ripple and dune are associated with low flow regime condition or flow number value will be less than 1 plane beds are associated with the situation with uh, critical flow when flow number is equal to 1 anti dunes and chutes and pool are associated with the situation where flow number is greater than 1 or supercritical flow subcritical flow condition bed form such as ripples and dunes develop they migrate downstream migrate in downstream direction and the wave surface the water surface and the bed <coughs> bed form surface both of them will be out of phase in the low flow regime condition in the low flow regime condition migration of sediments will be taking place towards downstream downstream direction and the uh, sur surface waves and uh, bed forms are out of phase <coughs> both are out of phase whereas when you look into the upper flow regime condition where the flow velocity is much higher supercritical flow is happening at a shallow water level condition the uh, migration of sediments takes place towards the upstream side migration of sediments to take place to my, uh, towards the upstream direction uh, but the sediments migrate at a very low angle till up to maximum up to 10 degree it, it's not possible to have a larger dip uh, the dip of the cross beds will be much uh, maximum up to 10 degree and another important fact over here is that anti dunes you can see over here this is the surface of the bed form the surface of the bed form and the surface wave both have both are in phase right the crest is on top of the crest the trough and trough both are in phase in phase surface waves and bed forms are in phase whereas here both of them are out of phase so this is the situation with different with increase in the flow velocity variation in the bed forms and the relationship with each one of them now how does i told you bed forms also depend upon grain size it depends upon velocity depth and grain size at low flow regime deeper de depth low velocity at upper flow regime shallow condition with high velocity and these are the uh, bed forms developed whereas when when the factor of grain size come in contact uh, when the flow condition is <coughs> Uh, supercritical flow we will be getting plain beds or uh, um, uh, anti dunes or chutes and pool situations will be happening so look over here in the grain size ripple marks are always associated with fine grain size particles silt clay uh, fine sand these are the grain size of sediments that can cause formation of or that can take part uh, in the formation of ripple mark whereas dunes are mostly associated with sand size particle whereas anti dunes and uh, plain beds are mostly composed of all the grain sizes the gradation will be from clay size to coarse grain sediments can also be there in the anti dunes and uh, plain bed deposits so ripple mark and dune are associated with much more finer sediments only especially ripple mark are composed of fine silt size particle whereas dunes are composed of sand size particle okay so these are the relationship between flow number and the bed form there are more details required over here they sometimes they'll ask about simple equation of flow number sometimes more detailed part of anti dune or chute and pool uh, the plain bed formations anything can be asked detailed classification of dunes are very important classification of ripples are also very important for competitive exam so anyway i'm winding it off over here uh, there will be a detailed discussion of this topic in our uh, running classes 
so if you are interested to know much more about geology in detail and uh, you do you really want to qualify for competitive exams you have to prepare uh, not hard work you have smart work is what we require so smartly if you want to prepare for any competitive exams of geology join us join kp classes you can contact us the number given in the description box there are recorded classes available more than 500 hours of recorded classes with test series so you can opt for the test series and the recorded lectures uh, call us or use the uh, link given in the description box for trial classes uh, you will be able to attend a few trial classes for free so that you can understand how the take classes go goes over here if you are wish to take part in live uh, online or offline sections that's also available uh, study materials are also available over here so if you are wishing if you wish to uh, if wish to qualify the competitive exams of geology don't waste your time contact us in the number given in the description box thank you